What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be showcasing Kaching. Now, the thing about this is, I want y'all to know, is um, I was thinking about getting Kaching to level 90, but with Zhongli coming out and me focusing all of my resources for the next week or two, if not longer, on him and getting him completely maxed out into 90 and his weapon to 90 and everything... Um, I decided not to do that on Kaching because if I did, if you guys don't know how much it takes to get a five star from like one to 90, it's like six or seven million gold or Mora. So yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm going to do that. So this will not be a 90 showcase. I'll probably do a 90 showcase whenever, if I do it, whatever, but we are going to be showcasing Kaching as a level 80. Now, um, as you can see, 18,000 HP, 1600 attack. 800 defense, which is whatever. She has next to no elemental mastery, but that's perfectly fine. If you look at her stats, she has 58% crit chance, 210 crit damage, right? 100 energy recharge. Then um, she has 61% electro damage and then 25% physical damage. Now, I didn't really want to get physical damage. That's just kind of how the pieces came out. And that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to show you guys. Um, I was running Noble set on her, but then I got a better piece that I put in and it, it, it became a physical damage set. So, anyways, um, HP, Elemental Mastery 19, which that's all she has. 15% attack, and then 14% crit damage. Really nice piece for her. Um, yeah, so, going on to here, you have HP, which is whatever, crit damage 30, attack percent, and then crit rate. Really, really nice piece right here. This is the piece that I did have on her, which was... Uh, it was like crit damage, energy recharge, element mastery, but I switched it to this, so now it was physical damage. Uh, attack percent, crit damage, crit rate, attack on there. Electro damage bonus, crit rate, crit damage, attack. And then a crit damage headpiece, attack with crit rate. Now, I couldn't get anything better, so this is what we're working with. Um, yeah, now her weapon. Refinement 1, level 80, black sword. Crit rate, base attack, the whole thing. No constellations, all of her... Um, Talents are level six. Now, um, if you're going for electro build, your first thing you want to max is your E. If you're going for physical build, first thing you want to max is your auto attacks. You can max this second to either of those depending on what you're going. Now, um, that is my Kaching. That's everything about her. I feel like the best way to showcase her is and always will be the uh, the ice or the the flower test. I guess you could say. Um, for this one, we're going to be using Bennett just so we can use the fire to, uh, break the shield. Now, Kaching has always been a character I've really enjoyed. She's my favorite five star until Zhongli drops. Then it'll be him because, uh, Zhongli is amazing. But, uh, like I said, I was going to get her to 90, but like I said, I already have, I, I have Chi Chi, I have Beto, Chi Chi, Venti 90, and those are going to be the main units I'm using with Zhongli. So it's like, I didn't really want to get anyone else 90 that I wasn't going to be using like that. So I think I'm just going to keep her at 80, um, which 80 is perfectly fine. She's really good at 80. It's not anything too bad, but I'm just saying. So we're going to go ahead and okay, get one more Bennett. There it is. So, we'll go ahead and do this. She's doing good damage. And then the electro damage. Even better. Right? Doing a lot of damage. Now, um, I mean, if I could obviously use, like, stamina food or something. And then, like, basically one-shot the boss. But... I mean, you know, doing that, hey, you, you want to come down here again? And there it is. So use her, do that. And as you can see, she does a lot of damage. So that is the flower. Well, ice flower. We can go and do the same for the fire flower. Now this time we're going to be using Mona because I need to use someone that can break the shield or whatever. So, but yeah, um, Kaching. I mean, 
as you can see, she does a lot of damage, even at level 80, even with, you know, not having the best artifacts. She has 210 crit damage, and she has, what, 58% crit rate? She's going to crit all the time. Basic, long story short, she's going to crit all the time. But, um, yeah, this is my full Kaching build. Now, obviously, like I said, as far as artifacts, I don't want to have the physical damage because I'm going to be using her electro damage all the time. But... The only thing about that is that um, it, it literally just rolled like that. What I would recommend is two-piece Thundering Fury, two-piece Noble set. Because her ult costs 40 energy. And whenever you use her ult, you get increased crit damage, crit rate, excuse me. And you get increased energy recharge. So you are going to be spamming her ult a lot. So with that being the case, you definitely want to... Uh, you definitely want to be running Noble set on her. Because you're going to be using her ult so much. Alright. There it is. We can go ahead and use this, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. 12,000 right there. 7,000 right there. A lot of good damage, man. Really, really good damage. Like, if I wanted to, like, actually, like, build a comp around one-shotting these, uh, flowers and stuff, I could. Go ahead and switch to Mona. There it is again. And as I said, like, her ult does a lot. Like, like I said, y'all saw it do 12,000. Kaching is nasty. A lot of people ask, talk about, you know, constellations and everything like that. I have no constellations on Kaching. I'm telling you right now, you don't need any constellations on Kaching. All of her constellations are nice, cool. Yeah, I got you. But you literally don't need any constellations. Um, her weapon is the Battle Pass weapon, which is super easy to get, super free to play. Now, keep in mind, right? Y'all saw the damage I was doing, right? That's, why, that's with Refinement 1. Imagine if I had Refinement 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 increases normal and charged attack damage this would go all the way up to 40 percent so with refinement five she's going to be insane there is not a better weapon in the game for kaching like i mean aquila favonia if you're going physical damage because it does give you physical damage but you got to realize this weapon gives you crit rate on top of the passive i don't think there's a better weapon in the game for kaching than the black sword i i genuinely think this is her best in slot some, like I said, some people may argue Aquila Favonia, but that gives you physical damage, which she's not going to be using most of the time with electro damage. And this gives you crit rate, which is massive. So, um, you can't get stats like this without having a, like, look at this. That's with her ult active, right? It's like 58% without it, but you can't get stats like this without having a crit rate weapon. Because if you guys look at headpieces... You see this crit damage 62%. Now, if you look at a crit damage piece or crit rate piece right here, it's half of that. So your crit damage is going to be like on a headpiece is double your crit rate. So trust me when I tell you, um, it's very, very good. But if you look at weapons, the crit damage here is 30%. Crit rate here is 25%. This is going to upscale to what? Maybe like 35 at 80. So the crit damage on a weapon is not double the crit rate on a weapon. But the crit damage on a headpiece is double the crit rate on a headpiece. So, yeah. But there you go. That's the Kaching Showcase. Uh, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys did in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.